Hello everyone. I hope you all are fine and safe at home in this pandemic. Let me introduce myself to you. I am Manali Bhagat. I have pursued my master's degree and I am a teacher by profession. So today I am going to explain you the chapter number 1 of science NCERT standard 6. So just take a look. Students, this is a cover page of your textbook and this is a index Today we are going to see the explanation of our chapter 1 that is food where does it come from So tell me do you ever think while eating food that from where do we get our food So market yes but who brings the food in the market shopkeepers okay but from where does the shopkeepers bring the food or food items from farmers yes but how do the farmers get all those things they bore some seeds and grow plants for us so a first source of food is plants yes now tell me do you all drink milk yes So from where do we get milk? From cows, right? Yes, you get milk from cows. But who are cows? Cows are animals. Yes. So the second source of food for us is animals. So there are two sources of food. One is plants, another one is animals. Here is the example for plant source that is rice field and wheat field from rice field we get rice and from wheat field we get wheat from which we make chapatis let us see a few examples of plant sources that is grains cereals vegetables and fruits now let's take a look on animal sources milk egg chicken fish prawns all these things are animal sources now from where do we get milk which animals give us milk cow goat buffaloes etc right now you can name some other animals which gives us milk can you do it and from milk we get milk products like cheese butter curd ice cream milk shakes Now let us see some edible parts of a plant. Edible means the thing or the food which we can eat that is known as edible. So in parts of plant leaf we can eat. Yes, for example leafy vegetables. Fruits we can eat. Yes, of course. Flowers we can eat. Yes, for example cauliflower. Stems we can eat. yes of course example is asparagus next is root roots we can eat of a plant yes we do eat potatoes sweet potatoes right this all are the roots of a plant so all the parts of a plant which are mentioned here are edible parts of a plant here are few more examples of edible parts of a plant we did not discuss was seeds so do we eat seeds of a plant yes we do eat seeds of a plant for example mustard seeds corn peas etc do you know how honey is produced honey bees collect the nectar or the sweet juices of flowers and store it in the bee hives when we find such bee hives we collect the food which is stored by the bees from the bee hive as honey so from where do we get honey we get honey from honey bees as nectar is a food for honey bee let us see what other animals eat now the animals are classified into three types our first type is herbivorous animals herbivores are the animals which eat only plants or plant products now let us see the example for our herbivores animals 
example cow elephant zebra goat horse camel rabbit buffalo all these are herbivorous animals which eat only plants let us see the other type second is carnivorous animals animals which eat other animals for example lion tiger wolf fox all these are carnivorous animals let us see the third type is omnivorous animals animals which eat both plants and animals can you guess who are they do we humans eat animals and plants yes so we are omnivores so this are few examples of herbivores carnivores and omnivores so students i hope you all have understood this lesson thank you for watching and be safe